Good morning. Do you remember your first job application? Well, I do. I applied for the a job at the clinical chemistry, and I got a question from Chaird, the head of the clinical de uh, department, and he was asking me, why do you want to come to this hospital, to this laboratory? And in his mind, he was thinking, the biggest hospital, the nicest lab, a lot of researchers. But my answer was, because it's closer to my work, or to my house. I was hired. I want to introduce you to Mr. Janssen. And Mr. Janssen, he is, uh, as, as a lot of people with pain on his chest, brought in to the hospital. And uh, when he arrived at the hospital, uh, the lab will come to, the, to him and will take blood from his veins. They will go back to the, the lab and then analyze the blood for the urgent blood tests. You can't see on the outside of Mr. Janssen um, what the condition is about his heart. And luckily, if a heart gets damaged, it will release troponin. And that is what we can measure. When an ambulance nurse gets to Mr. Janssen's home, he has to make an, an, an important decision. And this decision will be taken on the ECG, and you probably know them all, the stickers on your chest, and it's recording the electric heart activity, and the anemones. And based on this anemones and the ECG, the ambulance crew will say, leave we Mr. Janssen at home, or are we going to take him to the hospital? If we have 125 Mr. Janssens, all at the same time, pain on their chest, then five persons will go immediately, based on the ECG, to the hospital and will be treated right away. 25 of them will stay at home. And 95 will go to the emergency room and stay there for many hours, and there will be conducted tests on them. From those 95, around 90 persons also will have a myocardial infarction. But 25 had gone to the hospital, will be fired very soon, and immediately actual care was not as necessary. So, I was thinking, if troponin is one of the measurements we are doing at the emergency room, maybe we can take the troponin measurement near Mr. Johnson's house. Is that possible? So, we sought contact with the ambulance service, and um, a an en very enthusiastic ambulance nurse, Rudolf, joined our research team. Blood was taken near the patient's home, was gone to the hospital, we analyzed the troponin, the care around Mr. Janssen is usual as always, and afterwards we were looking back what was the diagnosis. Soon we found out that troponin alone is not going to help to leave the 25 people at home. And our cardiologist, Dr. Arnaud, add up the heart score. The heart score is a validated instrument to, um, to be used at the emergency room and to, leave, to say to people, you can go home or you must stay in the hospital. And at the heart score was implemented in the ambulance service, and together with a little device of measuring troponin. And that was the start of our phase two. In 2016, in January, um, the, we started with the project, and the most important people of this project, the ambulance crew, beside of the patient, of course, um, uh, calculated the heart score in total. We are now analyzing the data from this phase, and if it uh, still stands the way we are thinking, 
then we will go to the implementation phase. And the implementation phase means that Mr. Janssen's, the 25 Mr. Janssen's, will stay, stay safe at home. And it will also benefit the Mr. Janssen's who do need actually the acute care setting. Less overcrowding at the emergency room. So right to care, right time, in the right place. And now, looking back for the, the 25 years, um, I know now the answer on, on my question. I, um, I'm glad that I work in a hospital or in the laboratory and the colleagues that made me evolve to the person I am now. And I want to contribute to better care for the patient at the right time and the right place. And cheered. He is still asking the question, why do you want to come to this lab and don't tell me that it's closer to your house? 